Hey everyone, of course, welcome to the next edition of Forum Bites. In this episode, we're gonna have a conversation about how you can deliver your lifeline and make it easier for you, but also more effective for the rest of the forum. So you're joining a brand new forum and they've asked you to do a lifeline. You're looking for ways to make it a little bit easier as well as more effective for the forum experience. Now the first recommendation I would give you is make sure you talk to the forum and the moderator and understand what the expectations actually are. How long does it have to be? When are you going to do it? What type of media can you use? A lot of forums do their lifelines differently. Some do them only on retreat. Some do them when a new member joins. Some members do them all at once. Some members do them one at a time over a long period of time. Some members don't repeat them. Some members do. So that's why it's really important to ask because then as you plan, you make sure you deliver what they need as well as deliver what the lifeline needs, which is understanding you as a brand new member to the forum. The next recommendation I would give is when you're planning the primary conversation points, make sure you're focusing on those 5%. You know those critical pivots in your life that really affected who you are today? Yes, people want to know where you came from, where you were born, uh, you know, your childhood and those major items, but then start focusing on those major pivots. But just don't talk about what they were. Talk about how they made you feel how they make you feel now, how they affected your life, and how they affected the people around you. A lifeline is not designed just to tick off what you've done in your life. It's to describe to the forum around you why you are who you are based on what has happened. And that leads me on to my next recommendation, which don't rely on just your words or a PowerPoint presentation with a chronological order of why you were born and what happened in your first business. Focus on making it a little bit richer if you can. Add personal photos to it, bring them along. Bring photos of your family, your first house, your first business. Bring along drawings from your kids. Bring along something that means truly something to you. For example, at my uh, retreat, when I did my uh, very first um, lifeline, I brought along six bottles of cognac because I love cognac. I was able to go through why I love cognac, where cognac comes from. I taught my whole forum how to taste cognac and tell the difference between a good and a bad one. Because I wanted to make sure that they not only they understood from my photos and my words of who I am, they also understand why I am and what I love doing and my forum still talks about that to today. So make sure you focus on making it as rich as possible, depending on what your forum needs. And the last recommendation I've got for you is for some of the people who find it difficult talking about themselves, I do. I find myself extremely boring, to be brutally honest. I have no problems in talking about my problems or my, my mistakes I've made, but I've got a problem talking about the awards or stuff that I've actually done really well. And what I've found to make sure I get an even kill representation of myself, including all the bad things, by the way, I sometimes do my lifeline in third person. In other words, instead of saying, hi, my name is Rod Sinclair, I was born in Melbourne, I would go, hi everyone, I'd like to introduce you to Rod Sinclair. Rod was actually born in Melbourne in 1972, he joined EO 15 years ago, and so on. I found when talking about an individual in the third person, namely myself, just like the angel walk uh, for the retreat, I found it easier to talk about my um, lows and my highs, and also was like me introducing an EO member to another EO member, but I just happened to be introducing myself. Now lifelines can be very rich for everyone, not only the person who's presenting, but also for the forum that's actually being received. Understanding you is critical to the forum experience. Make sure you dive in, make sure that you understand what's expected, and make sure to have some fun. As always, if anyone's got any questions whatsoever, please leave them in the comment section. If you haven't subscribed already, you know what to do. Just hit that subscribe button now, and as always, I'll see you very soon in the next episode.